if you are looking for a spot for an excellent paddle, you may want to consider Wasega Beach. Wasega Beach is an excellent day trip if you're close by the vicinity of Toronto. And here's why. Yes, Wasega Beach, Ontario is the largest freshwater beach in the world and provides excellent sunsets and many people go here to actually enjoy just that. So on this particular paddle, Wasega Beach off of Georgian Bay, which is situated, as we can see on the map here, on the other side of Lake Huron, uh, provides uh, a safety put in location as the waves get kind of high here in the bay and as you can see there's an inlet right off of River Road uh, that you can actually put in on and in many locations. The other nice thing about Wasega Beach is is you've got some old-fashioned cottages nice and small takes you back to a, a more simpler time if you will and on this particular paddle if you paddle uh, in this inlet out to this point, it's like having your own deserted island in the Atlantic. So um, please allow me to share that with you in this video. So in the inlet, it's very scenic. It can get a little choppy as well, but if you stay close to the shoreline, you're away from all the boat traffic on your way to the actual place that I call a deserted island. On Nancy Island, there are some really cool architectural features and uh, many cottages, of course. And as I said earlier, a much more simpler time when cottages were just that, a cottage, and very small but quaint. And uh, for those in the know, uh, this is called Yanger Bridge for those that are having poor, uh, poor eyesight as they get older. And, as shared previously, very scenic on this inlet route if you take the time to take a look around. And as you get into the provincial park, you start to see again a much more simpler time where people just enjoy taking their families for a picnic and swimming. As you go up the inlet, the sandy beaches really come alive. The water starts to calm down so to speak it's not as choppy as the inlet shrinks if you will and when you come around the bend you get into Georgian Bay and as you can see here the chop really starts to come in play and this was not a real big windy day for Wasega Beach you can get much higher waves but uh, this particular prospector 14 from Swift Canoe and Kayak performed extremely well. So you find yourself a little spot on the beach, very secluded, set up your tarp, enjoy the scenery, kick back on a chair, have an excellent cup of coffee or tea, and just enjoy uh, an excellent day at Wasega Beach. And as you can see, the tarp is really spinning here with the wind coming in. And uh, as the sun is starting to go down, you really get some nice shade of color. So, like all paddles, uh, and this one for a single day trip, they regrettably do indeed come to an end. So you do your best to suck up the final pieces of just outstanding scenery in creation, and you get the last few pictures that you possibly can, pack up your gear, put it back on the vehicle, and again, as I said, Wasega Beach never disappoints as it relates to sunsets. So we hope these uh, little videos give you some ideas for day trips and uh, single day trip paddles, if you will, over and above 
the paddles that we do in the backcountry. So again, Wasega Beach, great idea. All the best, everyone.